you know, I was just playing TDX, and then I realized, you know, I haven't made a tier list video in a while, and neither has anybody else. So, let's rank every tower in Tower Defense X, including the new Halloween ones, and including the new balance changes that have been coming out. So, uh, let's start with the farm here. Farm is definitely an A tier tower. You can get extra health from it, which is good in impossible maps. You get good money, especially in multiplayer games, that's useful. Farm is just an A tier tower. XWM, I'm considering putting it in S, but after Chapter 4 released, it made me realize some of the flaws with XWM. So, I'm not going to be putting it in S. It is pretty darn close to S. It is definitely a high A tier, though. And definitely above farm. Really good tower. The Golden Ranger, I'm also going to put in A tier, but below the farm, it just has less utility overall, I think. Like, mainly because of the cost efficiency, because Ghost being more cost efficient. Speaking of Ghost, I will put Ghost around the same tier as Golden Ranger. I mean, it's just the good early game tower, you know, it has some good support. I don't know which one is generally better, it just depends on the situation. Now, John is definitely an A tier tower. Probably about right here. His bottom path was shown to be really good in Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, and you can also use him for his John Rage buff in something like Chapter 4. So he has a lot of utility for just a lot of things. I'm even considering putting him over farm, but for now I'll just leave him there. The Flame Trooper is definitely another A tier tower. I would probably put it about here. After the nerf, its cost efficiency has gone down a bit, but it is still an awesome tower for the damage uh, damage buff, you know, and it also does some really good crowd control, so we are going to be putting it in the A tier, about right there. The Warship is definitely an S tier. If there's a map where you can use it, you just put it down, and then you win. And especially right now, with that ignore explosive resistance on bottom path, I get that that's a joke thing, that's probably not going to stay, but I mean, assuming right now, that is pretty darn OP for this thing. But even without that, it's still an S tier tower, let's be honest. Warship is just so good, especially on a map like Oil Rig. The EDJ, uh, the EDJ is definitely another A tier tower. I probably would put it around uh, um, here. Wait, hold on. Because, I mean, the buffs it can give are really good. You get some pretty good discounts, and you also get a 40% fire rate buff, which is really good for stuff like Golden Juggernaut. So, I'm pretty sure that's better than this stuff. Yeah, I would definitely say EDJ is pretty darn good. Now, let's go to the patrol boat. The patrol boat is definitely a solid B tier tower, because whenever there is water, it just dominates those maps like if there's water you're gonna use that kind of like warship but there isn't always good water spots and I know that kind of applies to warship too but warship I mean it, it just is levels above it is insane but yeah patrol boat is definitely a B tier then juggernaut I'm considering putting either B tier or A tier because it does have insane cost efficiency one of the best in the game and it is just super good, but in stuff like Endless, I don't know. So, I mean, it's uh, kind of tough to say, but I probably would put the Juggernaut in B tier. Honestly, that feels kind of fair. The Slammer, I would definitely put in A tier, above Flame Trooper, above Ghost, above Golden Ranger, above John probably. I don't know about above EDJ though. So Slammer, definitely a really good crowd control, really good stunning tower. It can just help you a ton. Uh, let's go to the barracks. The barracks, for its price, is just insane. And even compared to other high level spawn towers, it is an A tier unit. I probably would put it around there. Like, in some maps, it can even be like S tier, honestly. Like, if you put it on like, chapter 2, chapter 3, early game. I can't really help you outside of early game though, so I'll probably put it in a low A tier, but it is really good for its price, especially. Now, the shotgunner, probably, um, I've been finding more usage in it lately with like the unstun ability and the speedrun potential. Also on impossible maps, it can be pretty decent. 
So I'm honestly going to put it in B tier, which is insane for how cheap it is. It is a really cheap tower, and it can still give you a good amount of utility. And the crowd control, also, really super good. The shotgunner is just pretty underrated, I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm definitely going to put it here. Probably a low B tier, though. Like, this other stuff is probably going to stay higher than it. So yeah, that's how I would put that. The commander, it can give you a 37% damage buff, pretty much. But you do have to chain it, which I mean, if you want to micro a lot, that's going to be pretty good. And you also get the airstrike ability and stuff, which is really darn good. I'd probably just put it around the same tier as EDJ. The EDJ can give discounts and ability cooldown thing though, so it's kind of debatable. But the commander's airstrike, the commander's airstrike is pretty underrated, you guys. I mean, it can wipe out hordes really efficiently, and with only like a 30 to 40 second cooldown, it's, it's really good. Now, the Medic. The Medic has seen a lot more usage thanks to the Halloween stuff. But outside of the Halloween stuff, you don't really find too many uses for it unless you're using like Golden Juggernauts or Normal Juggernauts. So I'll put it in B tier. Whenever it's good, it can be really good, but you know, it's not really requiring most of the time. Most of the time you don't need it, but I'll put it in like a high B tier. The Relic. The Relic, I would probably put in a high B tier. Honestly, the Juggernaut can find more usage than it. Honestly, the Patrol Bow can find more usage than it. I don't know about the Shotgun and finding more usage than it, though. The lower levels, people say the lower levels aren't good, but honestly, they are really good for how cheap they are, to be honest. Like, the Archer level for just 2.5k, what? That is a steal. And then, of course, you have the Overseer. The Overseer, honestly, I don't like the Overseer that much. It can't help you though, so it does have some utility there. I would say usually Juggernaut can do you more though in more game modes, and so can the Medic or the Patrol Boat. As long as you're doing the right maps, the Patrol Boat can definitely help you a lot more than the Relic. So, yeah. Uh, the Grenadier is probably a low B tier tower. It can occasionally help you out with the stuns, but... It hasn't really seen any more usage than that. Like, you just use it for the stuns occasionally. There's not really much else to use it for. The Shotgunner, I would even say, in my eyes... Actually, no, the Grenadier can do a bit more than the Shotgunner. Just a bit more. But, yeah. Uh, the Golden Juggernaut is definitely an A-tier tower. But where would I put it? Probably... Like... Here. I'd probably put the Golden Juggernaut right here. The John, just like his axe thing and the rage ability can help so much in other modes. The Golden Juggernaut really only shines once you can have a lot of money for him. Once you can really prep him up, then he'll start doing good. But if you can't really prep him up, there's just better options out there. Like even the normal Juggernaut can do better in some cases because of the cost efficiency. So there you go, Golden Juggernaut does go there. I would probably wouldn't slide it any higher or any lower. The Sentry is definitely like a B tier tower. It's really only super good in a few strategies and other than that you kind of just use it for bait and like if you're a newer player. I'd probably put it around the same tier as... I don't use the Sentry that much so I don't actually know where to put this thing. I guess from footage I've seen I'll kind of put it around the patrol boat to juggernaut area around there the artillery the artillery is a tough one for me to rank because I haven't seen it used in like any games I've played recently but it still can be good it's just like I mean to be fair the Skyhawk is also really good on like chapter 3 I'm not sure where to put the artillery I'm gonna be honest with you I'll probably end up putting it around I feel like it can help you about as much as a medic can. That, that's kind of how I feel about it. It can help you about as much as a medic. Oh, uh, do I feel like putting it over Juggernaut though? Yeah, sure, because the Skyhawk can be pretty good. Okay, so I'll put it around like as useful as medic. Now the helicopter, I'm definitely... Might be a hot take, I'm putting it in S tier. Other than the fact that it can get shot down a lot in Chapter 3 and Chapter 4... This thing is just really good. Like, the bottom path is pretty underrated, and then the top path can just help you a lot with the DPS. 
if it had a higher placement limit, especially too, this thing would just dominate, and it still does dominate right now. Especially with the fact that you don't need to use any placement space at all for it. That makes it really good for impossible maps, that makes it really good for just overall usage, and you could also use it to kind of micro, if you know what I mean. Like, you could put the helicopter on top of your top path farms, and then drag it back to your defense when the wave's about to end, put it back on your farms, back to defending. It just has a good amount of usage, it is a unique tower, and I honestly, it's not as good as Warship, but it is really good. It is really good. The Railgunner, I'd probably put the Railgunner around the same usage as... It honestly has more usage than the Medic in my eyes. It has really good boss takedown abilities. I'll put it at the height of B tier, probably. Yeah, that sounds good. The Toxicnator... The Toxic Nader is a tough one for me to rank. Its damage ability is really good. And the top path can be good for some grinding strategies. So, I'll probably put it around... Uh, let's see. It's definitely going in B tier because it's not as useful as a support as like an EDJ or a Commander or a John or a Ghost. But it can still help you out. Probably around the same tier as artillery, medic, thing. They all kind of have the same amount of usage. Like, if you can use them in a good way, they're going to be pretty good for you. But not all the time is it going to be good. Anyways, uh, Zed. Let's see, Zed, Zed, Zed. After some of the nerfs it's received, I think... Okay, maybe there's only been like one nerf for it. But, I don't know what it was about that nerf. It just made it feel so much... I don't know, whenever I try to use the Zed, it just doesn't feel good. I don't know what it is. I'll probably put it around the tier of Relic, to be honest. I, I feel like they have a pretty similar amount of usage. But then again, the 2500 DPS level does make it really good, actually. Wait, hold on. Okay, ignoring early game capabilities, the 2500 DPS is probably... Hold on. Is it better than Barracks? I don't think it's better than Barracks. I think I will put it there though. The barracks I do definitely see getting more usage, but the 2500 DPS you can get from the Zed is pretty good. I won't lie. Now the operator is probably a either like high C tier or low B tier. Because it can help you a lot when you're a starter. It can help you in the tower battles event. I haven't really seen much other uses for it though, so... I'll put it in high C tier. Okay. I might move it to lower B tier later. I might. Uh, Golden Mine Layer can help you so much in impossible maps. And when they finally revert the uh, uh, ignore explosive resistance on this thing, it'll actually have some usage too. So I'll probably put the Golden Mine Layer about... Honestly, the Barracks sees more usage than it. I don't know about the Zed seeing more usage than it though. I think that's about good. Okay, that just put this into perspective though. This 2,000 coin tower is able to beat a 69,000 gold tower. Like, the barracks has some good stuff with it, bro. Unless I'm just ranking this wrong. I might... Okay, wait, let me think about this. Does Golden Man Lair have more usage than a Flame Trooper? Uh... I mean, 20% damage buff is really good. Maybe I should move Flame Trooper up. Should I move Flame Trooper up? Maybe I should move Flame Trooper up. Because that 20% damage buff to mobs is insanely good. But then maybe I could put Golden Mine Lair. Uh, man, that's tough. Because it really depends on the mode you're doing. I guess in general, in most modes... Like, a Golden Ranger is going to do more than a Golden Mine Layer most of the time. It just feels like Golden Mine Layer, it can be really good in certain modes like Impossible Maps or Endless. But outside of that, it's not really going to help you in like a base game mode. So I guess I'll put it here. That, I don't know if people are going to get mad at me for that. Now let's see the Crowd Blaster. The Crowd Blaster, it can help you a lot in like... Impossible maps, it can help you slow down stuff in endless if you need to. 
So it has its very rare uses. It just feels too situational to rank though. Like sometimes it is just a godsend. But then most of the time it's gonna be pretty pretty darn useless. I guess that's kind of the same usage as a grenadier stun then. But it feels a bit better. I mean I guess I'll just put it here. It's not like it's gonna get as much usage as like a juggernaut or a medic. It's just kind of a support tower. Uh Yeah, that seems about right to me. That seems about right to me. Armored Factory. Armored Factory is a It's better than Juggernaut, it's better than Toxinator, it's better than Artillery, it's better than Medic. Better than Railgunner, probably. I'll probably put it around the tier of Zed. I feel like not too many people have been using Armored Factory as much, just because like Barracks has been doing really good recently with the Halloween chapters. But Armored Factory is pretty good, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Should I move the Relic up? Because the other spawners are all up here in A tier. It's like I kind of feel bad leaving Relic down here. But does Relic see more usage than like a Sentry or a Patrol Boat? I mean, I haven't seen people using Relic at all. That could be because it's the final tier of the Battle Pass, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it there for now. Because, I mean... The Overseer tier is really expensive, okay? Like... That is insanely expensive. You're not usually gonna afford that. Sniper... Is probably going to be my first D tier tower. It just is not good right now. At all. In my eyes, at least, I have not seen Sniper really be that good in ages. The Scarecrow... Okay, assuming it's just being used as a bait tower, it's probably around the same tier as, like, Cryo, Grenadier, Shotgunner, you know, this type of stuff. Because it kind of just fills one role. Like, that's what these all kind of do. Like, it just fills one occasional role that can be really good. So, I'll probably put the Scarecrow, like, there. The $50 for baiting is really cheap, so that can help you in some cases. Ranger is probably a... It's either a C tier or a D tier. I mean... Okay, honestly, I'll move Sniper and Ranger up. Because I don't think they're that abysmal. Uh, Missile Trooper is probably a pretty B tier tower. Javelin Spam can just be pretty good. It's probably not getting much higher than this, though. I feel like this other stuff can help you a lot more most of the time. Most of the time. Mine layer. The normal mine layer has two uses. It can kill bosses and it can help you in endless mode. Like, are you using it for anything else? I feel like it's a high C tier for that. Probably like a high C tier. The laser gunner is probably a B tier. He can probably help you about as much as this because that stun ability can be really good on impossible maps. I've seen pros use it for that. But top path spam for DPS or for the stunning is about as far as you'll get. I feel like usually patrol boat or sentry or juggernaut will find more usage most of the time. Most of the time. What's this final thing? Oh, Crow Ranger. Uh, probably D tier. Yeah, probably D tier. So, yeah, this is my tier list. In D tier, we have the Cryo Ranger for uh, obvious reasons. The C tier, we have Ranger, Sniper, Operator, and Mine Layer. In the B tier, we have the Missile Trooper and then the Shotgunner. Then Scarecrow, Grenadier, Cryo Blaster, Laser Gunner, Relic. Sentry. Can Relic bring you more than Sentry? I feel like it can, actually. Can Relic bring you more than Patrol Boat? Maybe? I, I don't know. Rel Relic is a weird one. I feel like we need to wait for the rework, and we need to wait for this thing to balance before I figure that out. Anyways, Patrol Boat, and then Juggernaut, and then Toxicinator, Medic, Artillery, Railgunner, and then we move on to the A tier, we have Armored Factory, Zed, Golden Mine Layer, 
Barracks. Barracks is really good right now with the meta. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Ghost. Golden Ranger. Flame Trooper. Uh, what do they call it? Golden Juggernaut. John. Slammer. Commander. EDJ. Farm. XWM. And then Helicopter Warship. That is my tier list for all the towers. If you had any problems with it, let me know. Because I do look at these comments. And, um... Peace out, guys. Have a good day.